Hey guys and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to talk about improving your SEO or search engine optimization. Stay tuned for that. So let's start off this video by understanding first what is SEO. So SEO, like I said before, stands for search engine optimization. It is a technique of optimizing your web pages or the entirety of your Shopify store so users can find your web pages or your website through search engines like Google, Yahoo, and Bing. Shopify automatically optimizes your SEO, but there are parts that will still depend on your Shopify theme. So if you're using a Shopify theme that was made by Shopify, best believe that your Shopify store is search engine optimized. Otherwise, if you purchase a Shopify theme from other platforms like Envato, make sure that the SEO is included in its features. So how can you improve your SEO? There are a few basic steps that you can do to improve your SEO. First is to find the keywords that are relative to your brand. This will help your users or the customers find your Shopify store through a search engine. Say for example, you're selling watches specifically for men. Now there are keywords that you can use to help your customers find your Shopify store through search engine engines. For example, you can use the following keywords, men watches, watches for men, smart watches for men, gold watches for men, and so on and so forth. You can use the following keywords in your product titles, in your descriptions, and in your image alt attribute. This will help Google or other search engines understand that your product is about men's watch. Another thing that you must verify or check is the URL of your pages or your product pages. Make sure that the URLs of your pages matches your brand or your content. My other advice or recommendation for you is to find keywords that are not too competitive or broad. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, there are a lot of keywords that are too competitive or broad, like the word watch. You see, that word can mean a lot of things. It could mean watch a movie, men's watch, women's watch, a song called watch, and probably more. So always find the most specific keyword for your brand. So if your target audience are mostly men, then you can use the following words like for men, or like keyword and then for men, or men's keyword, so men's blank. So you can just add the following words like for men or men. If your target audience are mostly women, then you can use the keywords or the words for women's or women's blank. So since we're talking about keywords, what are the best keyword finders that you can use online? Well, if you have money, you can use Ahrefs. That's the tool that I use to find the best keywords. But if you don't want to spend money, you can use Google, Yahoo, or Bing. All you need to do is just to type a single keyword and then Google will automatically give you or recommend you keywords. Another way to improve your SEO is by creating a content or a blog post. Or make a list post talking about the best watches for men. Make a content that is usually asked by a lot of people because people likes to confirm a lot of things. I'm sure you had this moment where you're just laying down your bed and then suddenly you have this question like, I don't know, like, is Shopify better than WooCommerce? You know, just random questions. The point is, search engines can bring you a lot of free traffic or organic traffic. So improving your SEO should always be your top priority. I don't usually recommend Shopify apps for improving SEO because SEO is very easy to work on. And besides, installing SEO apps or Shopify apps can slow down your Shopify store. So instead, I highly recommend you work on your Shopify store manually instead of installing Shopify apps. Shopify is a great platform. They already have features that can help you improve your SEO. So why would you still want to install Shopify apps? But Bernard, there are a lot of Shopify apps that are actually really good for optimizing SEO. Yes. I agree, but most of these apps are just there to speed up your work. You know, that one-click optimization and just one-click everything is optimized. Uh, personally, I don't find it really worth a shot or worth a try. I don't want to spend money just for that because SEO is really easy to work on. In my opinion, that's just my opinion. But if you still want to use those apps, I'm not going to stop you. Now, the last thing that you can do to improve your SEO is by improving your Shopify store loading speed. By default, Shopify stores are really fast. But the more content you add, the slower your Shopify store is going to be. So how can you make or how can you keep your Shopify store 
fast. Well, there are things that you can do to improve your Shopify store's loading speed. Number one is to avoid installing a lot of Shopify apps. The lesser you install Shopify apps, the better. I recommend having three to five Shopify apps per store. And I know that's not that much, but if you want to make your Shopify store fast, then avoid installing a lot of Shopify apps, especially those Shopify apps that changes your storefront. You know, those Shopify apps that installs announcement bars or those icons or pop-ups, avoid those Shopify apps. If you want to add announcement bars or pop-up messages without installing Shopify apps, I have a video about that. I'll put the link in the video description below. The second thing that you can do to improve your Shopify store's loading speed is by making your image sizes very very small if you don't know one of the heaviest file in a website is an image file or a video file unfortunately there are a lot of shopify store owners that don't look at their images they just upload everything and never look at the size of their images you see websites are like a file if you move a file from one drive to another notice that the file is moved faster if the file is smaller the heavier the file is the slower the file is going to be moved. So again, websites are like files. The more heavy images that you upload in your website or the more heavy image that you display in your front end, in your storefront, the slower your website's going to load. So how can you make your images lighter? Well, it's honestly very simple. I use the tool called tinypng.com. It's a great image compressor tool that reduces the file size of your images without losing its quality. So I highly recommend using this tool for your images. If you wanna learn more about optimizing your Shopify store's loading speed, I have a video for that. I'll put the link in the video description below or you can click the eye icon right over here. And that's pretty much it for this video, guys. You see, optimizing your SEO is not that a lot of work. It's honestly very easy. If you have any suggestions or recommendations or anything that you can add, you can do that in the comments below. Anything that can help other merchants will be appreciated. So do that in the comments below. Otherwise, if you find this video very helpful or somehow helpful, make sure that you hit thumbs up and subscribe for more Shopify related videos. And you can also hit the notification bell button so you won't miss my future uploads. Again guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.